Metz, France. Our journey begins here as we explore what rail stations connect Georgia Tech Lorraine with the rest of Europe. Trains have held significant importance throughout Europe since the mid 19th century, and today, 392 billion passenger kilometers are traveled each year on national railway networks in the EU. But what brought about the European railway obsession? In this video, the history and modern day importance will be explained of the three most important railway stations to Georgia Tech Lorraine students, Metzville, Paris Gare d'Est, and the Luxembourg Central Railway Station. First off, Let's explore Gare de Metzville, located in the heart of Metz, France. Metz is the capital of the Lorraine region, which historically has been half French and half German, and Lorraine has flipped back and forth between the French and Germans throughout recent history. Therefore, it should be no surprise the Germans, under orders by Kaiser Wilhelm II in 1905, originally constructed the still-standing Metz station. Built as a Neo-Romanesque edifice, the modern Metz station was designed by German architect Jürgen Kroger, who mainly designed Protestant churches. The stained glass image of Charlemagne represents the history of all German monarchs and his past experience constructing churches as well. As part of the Schlieffen plan, the original purpose of the station was the ability to have thousands of troops to Russia in under 24 hours by the German army. Today, Gare de Metzville is a French TGV hub, which connects Metz to Paris by an hour and a half train ride. Over 550,000 tourists visit Metz each year, and having a rail network is key to tourism in the city. More than 19,000 passengers per day travel through the Metz train station, and it was registered as a historic monument in January of 1975. Let's now transition to Luxembourg City, the capital of the only Grand Duchy in the world. The rail station in Luxembourg broke ground in 1849 and was opened 10 years later, built entirely out of wood. The city at the time was occupied by the Prussian army, and in order to keep the city's fortified and protected status, the rail station was built outside of the main city, which at the time was a mere 300 acres. Since many Luxembourgers opposed the railway station at the time, the tracks would not be laid in vineyards for fear of destruction. After 1867, when the city's fortifications were removed, many hoped of a new railway station. It would not come to completion until 1913, when the new station was totally redesigned and rebuilt in a Baroque style by three German architects. The Baroque architecture can be seen in the ornate and dominating clock tower located in the middle of the main entrance to the station. Today, the interior of the station has been upgraded, and similarly to Metzville, Luxembourg Central Railway Station serves as a French TGV hub. Additionally, Eurocity lines from Brussels to Basel stop in Luxembourg, easily connecting the city to other important European cities. Many Georgia Tech Lorraine students, including myself, find themselves stopping in Luxembourg on their travels to Amsterdam and Brussels. Finally, the station is well known for having workers who speak a minimum of three languages, German, French, and English. As a result, many Georgia Tech Lorraine students choose to travel to Luxembourg to book train tickets. The Luxembourg Central Station sees more than 80,000 passengers per day and is well connected to the Luxembourg airport by a short and inexpensive bus ride. Now we head over to Paris, home to some of the most scenic places on the globe. Paris Gare d'Est was originally completed in 1849. The station was designed by Francois Duquesnay and was named the Paris Strasbourg platform. Duquesnay is also known for restoration and creation of artwork. The architecture of the station relates to its original function. It connected the Seine in Paris to the Rhine in Strasbourg. Renamed to Gare d'Est in 1854, the long-lasting station has been renovated many times to keep its historical importance. 
Many call the station's architecture the ideal architecture of a train station. In fact, it was the first time in railway history that function was rationally expressed. This is shown by the Statue of Strasbourg designed by Henri Lemeret. Even the clock in the middle of the station connects the Seine and the Rhine through an allegory. Many say that the central stations in Rome and Budapest are copies of Gare de Est for their practicality and their beauty. During both world wars, Gare de Est was the main strategic railway connecting Paris to eastern France, and similarly to Metzville, the station allowed troops to be mobilized quickly and sent to eastern fronts. As mentioned earlier, renovations to Gare de Est are common. Once the high-speed train network was constructed by French rail company SNCF, more than 60 million euros were spent renovating the station to accommodate this new technology. Today, Gare de Est in Paris is a French TGV hub and is the 59th busiest railway station in Europe. Many call the busiest station in Europe nearby Paris Gare du Nord a copied version of Gare de Est. Today, Gare de Est services more than 92,000 passengers per day and is well connected to Paris by the Metro subway system. In comparing the three stations, it is interesting to think of the train stations as a new kind of place. While train transportation and train stations are a product of the Industrial Revolution, station architects created a new space that represented the transition from pre-industrial society to modern technological society. There was an attempt to counterbalance the modernity of this new mode of transportation. This can be directly seen by the use of stone on the exterior of the station, along with the use of steel and cast iron to create the interior of the station. Architectural motifs were used to connect this new pace of life with train transportation anchored in the roots of European history. Some scholars call train stations cathedrals of travel for these reasons. They elaborated on the original purpose of certain stations and showed the history of the culture responsible for construction. However, unlike cathedrals, people go to train stations for the purpose of getting somewhere else. This alludes to the notion that train stations lack the idea of a space altogether. Modern French anthropologist Marc Auger has coined the term non-places when describing modern day train stations and airports. He argues that people simply use the station to transit, not to stay because train stations lack a sense of identity, as people are essentially just on the move and not staying sedentary. With all of these thoughts in mind, when you are traveling to a new city, appreciate the history which you arrive to. Metzville, Luxembourg Central, and Paris Gare d'Est all have rich history ingrained in their modern day importance to train travel. Wherever your train takes you, forget not that you will discover the culture and roots of that society through its train station.